Hello and in this video we'll show you one of the best hidden secrets of pivot tables, conditional formatting. In this example we have a list of policy numbers sold, date, amount, the names of the insurance agents, and the states where these policies were sold. Let's create a pivot table by clicking anywhere inside this list. Then go to the insert tab, pivot table from table range, and we'll have it in a new sheet. Click OK. What you see on the left is what I like to call my canvas, and to the right, the pivot tables fields. Notice that if I click outside my canvas, the fields to the right disappear. Let's create a pivot table to see the cells by state per agent. When we click inside the agent's checkbox, right under the pivot table fields, they are listed by rows and that is exactly what we want. Now we can insert columns for the state by dragging the state field into the columns box and release. The amount box can be checked or we could have dragged it into the values column. Let's fix the amounts by selecting them. Then go to the Home tab and we'll go with the Accounting Formatting. Now we want to highlight with the formula only the agents that sold policies in at least two states like Anita, Daniel and Jim. This is where conditional formatting will join the party. First, select the area we want highlighted. Now in the Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting inside the Styles group. Go to New Rule, check the highlighted area. Under Select a Rule Type, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Let's use the count if formula because we want to count how many columns for each row have cells greater than zero. But here's the kicker. The formula will only highlight the cells if two or more columns have actual revenue. Let's make sure that the formula has the right formatting and the dollar signs are only placed before the columns. Notice that the greater than zero is placed in quotations. The reason is that in Excel formulas, when you use logical operators like greater, less than, equal, together with a value, they need to be inside the quote so they can be interpreted as a condition inside this count if function. In short, the quotes make it clear that this is the condition for the count if. Now we'll choose a highlight color under Format, Fill tab, and by the way, you can choose more colors if you're a picky painter like me. Click OK twice to continue. Now we can see the highlights that we need, but let's do a test. What if we take away cells from Anita? Will the highlight disappear? Let's try it. Also, you can test how much Excel you could learn if you click the subscribe button. It will be the highlight of our day. Thank you. Since we cannot change the values inside a pivot table directly, we need to change the actual data instead. So let's go to our original list. And this time I will remove all of the cells from Anita in Florida. To see the new changes in the pivot table, we need to go back to the pivot table sheet, click anywhere in it, so the pivot table analyze tab appears on the top. Click on refresh, then refresh all. Or you can use the shortcut Control Alt F5. Since now only one column has cells, the highlight disappeared and it looks good. And don't forget your free 52 Excel shortcuts for Windows and Mac in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.